Hey everyone, it's Monkey1000 and today I have a new project. Well, you probably have seen my sign when we do our reviews and stuff here in the kitchen. Um, I have it hanged, I had it hanged up over here on the wall, which I'll show you in a minute. And um, I'm wanting to do something with this. It looks kind of plain up there, just hanging. And I think it needs some color. And I wanted to make it kind of prettier than what it is. So what I'm going to do, I got a couple ideas and we're going to try them and hopefully it'll work out and look nice. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. Okay guys, so what my idea is, is I'm going to paint this. I'm going to paint it white, which I have it like an antique white. And then what I'm going to do is paint the heart red and then I'm gonna let it dry and then after that what I'm, my idea is is I have lights here these little lights they're blue it's a solar it's a solar thing I think I can show it to you I don't know they were coming on and then they weren't coming on so hopefully it'll work out they're light blue they're really pretty and what I wanted to do is take some of this twine. I was going to use the smaller twine, but I think it would be just too small. So I'm going to take some of this twine, interlock it with the blue lights, and I'm going to put it around the border on here. And I'll get all the way around, all the way as much as I can. Like this will go in the words and stuff. I'll glue it in there with my glue gun and all the way down to here so that is my idea and then I have this piece here this is a frame that my mother's it broke and um, so I was like well I could use this frame for something and I was gonna frame it kind of put it in a frame you know but it's too big you know, the frame's just too big for it. So I took it apart. I took it off of here. And I took a piece. So it kind of looks like a border. I got my plates in there. And I'm going to paint this white with this paint here. Antique white. Because it's just too dark. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to attach it to here. Like a border. Only for the bottom part though. So then it would look like that. And then the lights will be up here. I'll do the lights up this way. So there you go. So that's the idea of trying to do this. So we're going to paint this first. And I'll show you a little bit of painting. I wish I had one of those, um, those sponges, you know. But I don't. And because they work a lot nicer, I think they look, they, they don't, they have no lines, you know, it doesn't show the lines and stuff. So we're going to paint this all up first. And I'm using the back of the frame to use as my cardboard here so I don't waste any, anything. So, um, yeah. I just wanted to do something with this. I keep looking at it and every time I look at it, it's like, what can I do? How can I make this look prettier? I mean, it looks so plain up there. And, you know, so this is my idea. And well, hopefully it'll all work out the way I want it to. If not, oh well, we had fun doing it. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. So, um, I'll use one of these brushes and I'll paint this white first, get this all painted. I'm not going to do the outside because I'm going to have the border and then this piece is, this piece right here will be on the bottom. So I don't think I need to. I might, I might have to. Yeah, I'm going to have to because if I don't <coughs> paint it. I'll have to paint it in here. I'll have to. Yeah, I'm just going to have to. Yeah, that sucks, but that's all. 
And then I'll paint this red, maybe just the inside red here. And I'll do this all white here and all the way around the antique way. So we're going to get this going and shake this up. And hopefully, I might have to do it more than once because I don't have um, a sponge. The sponge works so much better than brushes. I really, I wish I had one. I really do. So, I haven't used this paint in a while. But it's okay. I'm not using it. So, I'm going to paint it. And I'm going to go the same way as the green is. Because the green's going up and down, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm probably going to have to do this more than once with this paint. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. So I'll show you a little bit. Because I want it to be white, you know, antique white. I want it to show the white. So. And hopefully this will work out. Just want it to look nice instead of just plain. And my kitchen's pretty much white, you know. I have the dark wood, and I was going to leave this piece dark, but then I was like, no, nah, I think it looked nicer white. So. I think one of those sponges is really, really hot. I'm going to have to go to Dollar Tree. Dollar General General. They're not that much. They're only a couple of dollars. I'm going to have to run down and run that, that one. So I'll make it look smoother, I think. And it'll bring, bring the white out more, I think. So I might have to do that. This is just going to do it this way. Yeah, I think I'd rather do the sponge because it's really not going to turn out as nice if I don't. So I'm going to run to um, Dollar General. It's just right down the road. And I will be right back. I will get the sponge. I think the sponge will look so much better. So, I will be right back, y'all. Yeah. For you all. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> I am back. Well, it took you guys a few seconds. Took me longer. <laughs> Anyways, I got these. And these will make it look a lot nicer. So, <coughs> don't need the big one. And so it all it already soaked in. That's all it did. So uh -uh. we want it to do more than that. So I was like, oh, I wish I had them. And now I do. So I'm gonna just pour some of this out here. And I'm gonna dab this in there and get this going. I'm still going to go with the green. So it will come out much nicer. And let me just show you a little bit and then I'll turn you off and then I'll bring you back after I finish it. You might have to put a couple of coats on this. It just makes it a little darker. These are great things to have. I like these sponges so much more.
Alright, so I'm going to do the white part and I will do the top and underneath here and then we'll come back. Okay guys, so I'm letting the white dry and we'll see if I need to put another coat. So I'm just going to move this. I want to make sure the white part is dry before I do the red part on my heart. So I'm going to just move that over and what we're going to do is focus on this. There you go. I see it. And what I'm going to do, because there's a coating on this, I'm going to sand it down a little bit with sandpaper. I just it's just cheap sandpaper but it's mostly just to take the coat off and um, then you can paint it or the paint won't stick to that that stuff as you probably know I'm gonna bring it a little closer maybe if I can so you can kind of see there you go okay so we're just gonna sand this down a little bit for a few minutes It's like, well, oh, this has got coating on it, so I better sand it down a little bit. It's got a nice little pretty design on it. fortune for this frame but the glass part broke when I moved her moved her stuff down here to my house so and I was like well let's we'll just put a new piece of glass in and I was like no I'll just buy her a new frame and uh so we go to Walmart next time I'll get her a new frame and this one was falling apart on the one corner and so or something else. And then she can put it up in a room. Yeah. So. I wish this wasn't so... It's got that piece in there. Oh, there you go. I'll kind of take that out of there. Let's see. It looks a little nicer because it was sticking out. So it's sticking out a little bit. So if I take that off, it'll um, make it look a little nicer. There we go. Just take that off. I don't know if it's glue or, or what. Uh, so, anyways. It was the corner piece that broke, so. I want to be able to glue this stick up here too, the hot glue. So I want it to, to work too, so. I'm going to get a knife and see if I can get that out. I'll be right back. I took out the um, the staples or whatever they were for the connection they had two little bars here and they were really sharp so I don't want them there and you could see them you know on the end so I took them off and uh, well Shea Bear did he helped me and um, so it makes it look much more cleaner look so I'm gonna keep sanding down 
a little bit more and um, then I'm going to paint this. I'll wipe it off and uh, with damp cloth just wipe it off a little bit and then I will paint it my antique white and uh, I'm not doing the back you know you don't need to no one's going to see it and uh, yeah that makes it look a lot nicer and cleaner looks cute so. and you could certainly leave it this color if you wanted to but I don't, I don't want to I think it's too dark for my my liking so and as you can tell it's getting duller so that stuff is the glossy stuff is coming coming off so that's what we want to do so I'm gonna wipe it down it's nice and smooth it doesn't take about a few minutes to do that I'm gonna wipe it down and when I get ready to paint it I'll come back oh you can't even see it I'm sorry there you go <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I am back and sanded it down. I also um, wiped it off with damp cloth paper towel. I just squeezed it and damped it and wiped it off a little bit. So now I got my antique white here. And put it on another piece of cardboard so then I can leave the other one where it is and not have to move it around. And this one can dry on this one. So what I'm going to do is paint away. I'm probably have to put a couple coats on because this is kind of dark so you know. It'll probably take a bit. Thicker. Takes longer to dry though, that's the only thing. Okay, lay down. And I'm gonna do over here. And I don't care because the decoration's gonna bleed through probably anyway, so it should be alright. Yeah, it'll bleed through it. This is one way you can use an old frame if you got one laying around. They say don't throw them out. You might find use for them. Even if the glass is broken on them and stuff, you know. You can always cut it up and make it a smaller frame too if you want. Put some plexiglass in there and whatever. I hope this is going to look okay. Yeah. I'll let it smooth out a little bit. Now I'll let it dry and then I'll put another coat on and then I'll let that dry. And after that, I'll show you what it'll look like. Oop. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. I'm just dropping it over. Oh no. All right, because back is not going to be seen anyway, so it won't matter. All right, 
So let that dry. And I'll probably have to definitely put another coat on here. Yeah, I'm sure. So. And then we'll be back and we will we'll do the red on the heart. Okay guys, so hopefully you guys can see. Yeah, you can see this, right? Yep. Okay, so I got this paint. Now, everything I've gotten and used today, I have had. You know, I, I bought this a long time ago. And then, it, and then I put it away and didn't use it. And I was like, you know, I'm gonna hang that up. And I hung it up and then I was like, oh, it looks so plain and boring and so it needs something. I just never knew what, so I'm trying to do something with it. Anyways, we've got some red here. Oh, pretty. And let's see what it's going to look like. There we go. You hear a noise, my mom's doing her wash, and uh, the machine's going in the garage, you can hear it. I can hear it anyways. So, it's a very bright red. Yeah. Hopefully I'll be alright. I'm just doing the top part in red, and the rest I did in white. Which, I might have to do some more white on this side. So. Yeah, I think that'll look pretty. I think so. Hope so. You you can cut this off on the top. You don't have to um, to hang it. But I mean, I really where I have it, it's just look nicer. I think. That's about it. Yeah, I didn't want to do it all the way around. I mean, I could make it more red. I have to do the inside, but I'm going to let this dry first. And then I'll come back and do the inside after it dries. And, uh, yeah. We'll see. Yeah, because I think I'm going to have to do some white over here some more. Yeah, this wood really absorbs the paint big time. So, um, yeah, we're just going to let it dry now. And then I'll let that dry. And when that, when that piece dries, I'll put another coat on it. And when it gets dry, I'll come back and show you what we're going to do next.
Okay, guys, so what I have done here is I forgot to turn the mic back on after um, I left. I was um, letting it dry, so I turned it off so I didn't waste the battery. And uh, <laughs> what happened is I forgot to turn it back on. So what I'm doing here, it's all dry. Um, so what I was trying to show you is I intertwined the, the lights with the twine and I'm going to show you how I'm going to put it around the, the letters. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue it all the way around on the top part. Don't need to do it on the bottom because we're going to use that border for um, the frame to, um, you know, on the bottom. So you don't need to do all of it just on the top part. So that's what I'm doing right now, getting ready to anyways. Um, yeah, so uh, sorry that there was no voice. Um, yeah, so I'm just trying to make sure you guys can see me there and put some glue on there and put it around real quick. I was getting it <laughs> tangled up there for a bit, so it took a little bit to put it around, but it wasn't too bad, really. You know, I took my time. And I added, I just did a little bit of glue at a time. I, you know, you could have probably done a little bit more than what I did, but I wanted to make sure it was going to stick and it wasn't going to cool off too fast on me. And as I was taking my time, too, so I didn't want to rush too much. I started with the heart first because it was the easiest. You, it doesn't really matter what end you, you start at. But the black thing is the solar for the light, so... Um, you know, I have to hide that. So when I finished, I had to put it behind the M so you could see it. And I think it worked out pretty good. If you used a battery lights with the LEDs, you know, then you gotta, you gotta change them. So you gotta keep it open where you can be able to change them. And it's kind of hard when you're doing letterings. You know, so um, I didn't want to use any ties because you could see it on there. So I think it worked out pretty good considering. It just took a little time to put the twine on. There you see. Always burning my hands with the glue gun. Didn't do too bad this time. Most of the time I do burn my hands. There you go. Another thing I had to make sure is I was closer to the edge because, you know, I kind of went back a little bit when I put that on there and I want it closer up to the front part. So I kind of had to move it a little bit so it would, um, you know, be more of a border at the front can't really see it in the middle so that's what I was figuring out here so I think and then I straightened out the lights too there you go a little bit more glue So 
I showed you a little bit and um, then I moved on. I um, I decided I, I just let you see a little bit of it. You didn't need to watch the whole thing and get bored. So then I turned it off and uh, I came back and showed you after I finished. I am playing with it as you can tell. Trying to keep it more in the front part. And yes, I got pain on the back, but no one's going to see that. It's going to be against the wall, so no one's going to care. <laughs> it kept falling on me. I, I was fighting me. I was trying to figure out how I'm going to get it down in that little hole and bring it back up. But I did it. I used the uh, end of the uh, paintbrush. So I, it would help me stuff it in there after I put the glue in there. It worked pretty good. I didn't burn my hands. Here I'm telling you I'm going to turn you off and I'm going to do the rest of it on my own and I will come back. Okay guys, I'm back and this is what the uh, end product was of uh, the lights. Um, yeah, I thought I was more in frame in the camera than I was. I'm sorry about that. Um, but I think I finally realized it and bring it down a little bit more. Um, yeah, so I put the solar thing underneath the M so you can't see it. And, uh, yeah. yeah, it turned out all right. I was trying to take some of that glue off, you know, the after um, with the hot glue gun. You get that stringy stuff. And I was trying to, I took some of that off of there and cleaned it up a little bit so it looks a little bit better. Um, yeah. So I think it worked out pretty good for the light. I'm just showing you. Oop, I'm way up ahead, then you can't even see it. I was taking all that string off. And the lights were working and uh, yeah turned out not bad there you go so I think um, what I do here what did I do here I was, I was trying to show you the lights and uh, yeah not oh, showing you the whole thing here but I was just a little bit too high <laughs> And I was playing with the lights because I noticed that a couple of the lights kind of went into the back of it instead of near the front. And I wanted more in the front so you got more of the blue lights. When you turn the lights off, you could see it better. So that's what I was trying to try to do. Uh, now I think I'm going to take it over to, oh, I turned off the lights. That's what it was. I thought I was taking it over to the wall. So I turned it off so you could see it. But you can't really see it. <laughs> you know, just a blue light. Um, I think I needed more lighting on it. I don't know. Maybe later on I might add uh, a bottom piece around the border there uh, of lights, but then again, you know, I have to hide this box, so it's not easy, you know. But I was showing you how I went around with the lights and that.
So I took that little little plastic piece off. I had it on there. And um, it was part of the tag when I uh, bought it. I just never took it off, so I decided to take it off there. It was driving me crazy. So the nice thing is it would stand up with the solar box on the back of it. kind of was a stand for it. So I could have just left it the way it was if I wanted to and just put it on a table or something like that. Now I'm going to, um, I was trying to see how much dry it was. It was still tacky, I think. So I didn't do anything yet. I waited a little bit longer okay, guys. and then I came um, back. It's getting late. I'm getting tired. I've done quite a bit of this today. So but it's kind of a little tacky but i'm going to put this on i have to take my mom to the doctors in the morning so i want to get this done so i can get ready for tomorrow so um it is a little tacky i would probably let it dry a little bit longer i really wanted it to be pure white and not just kind of off white you know what i mean kind of just washed it but that's okay i mean maybe later on i might um Get some spray paint and just paint the white. I might do that. But then again, you can see the detail in it too, you know. And if I do that, I might not be able to see it. So, um, yeah, it's still damp. Just a little bit. A little tacky. So, now what we're going to do, we're going to take this and we're going to put it on here. And we're going to glue it on with the hot glue gun. That's what we're going to do. So, there we go. I want to make sure it's even. And I'll show you. I'll turn it around so you can kind of see. Um, yeah, so, there we go. And, oops, it's all falling on me. There we go. So, I'm going to glue it like that. And then I can hang it. See what I mean? There we go. Yeah. So I'm going to glue it here, and you got the little lights on there. That's so cute. It is cute. I just, unfortunately, have to get some stuff going on. It's getting late, and she has to go in the morning, and I haven't been sleeping my best um, either. At nighttime, it's the worst. I'm still recuperating from my operation, so... Um, yeah, so, but I'm doing fine. I'm doing better. I found out a few things. I Google it, which is a good thing, because doctors don't always tell you everything you should know. They told me not to take any Advil before the surgery, and I didn't. So I didn't for, I made sure, I think it was seven days that you, you couldn't take any um, Advil or anything like that. The only thing you could take was Tylenol, so I did. I didn't really need it, um, but he should have told me that I should have waited three weeks to take the Advil. And I don't know, I've been getting spasms in the back of my neck really bad, so at night mostly. So I don't know if that's part of the healing or if it's because I was taking Advil and I should have waited at least three weeks. I don't know. So I've been taking Tylenol at night before I go to sleep. In the last couple of nights, it's been better. I'm usually on the couch by 5 o'clock in the morning. But, um, yeah, I think I came out today about 7. So that's pretty normal, you know. So, anyways. Okay, so there you go. We got it together. There you go. I'm going to hang it up so you can see where I'm going to hang it up. And I'll bring the camera over there so you can see it. Yeah, okay. So, I'm going to do that right now. Be right back. Okay, guys, so there you go. Yeah, finished product here. You can see that's where I'm going to hang it. Um, I might move it later on. We're going to try to um, do this closet. Oops, I don't know if my arm, I'm sorry. It's heavy. I got it on the tripod. I'm holding the tripod too. So, there we go yeah so that's it and anyway so we're gonna redo the closet i'm going to show you because this was the um 
this was the uh, yeah all my storage stuff. This this was where the air conditioner and heater was the heat pump part was in here. So we're gonna take this all out and I'm gonna make it a closet. And I need the extra closet space. So I think that will work out really good. So we're gonna try to do that sometime this year. And hopefully we'll clean this up and we'll clean down there too and get that all cleaned up and then I'll be ready to paint that area again. I'm gonna start painting the house again, hopefully. I'm gonna start doing the outside as soon as I get my roof done and um, then work my way inside. Uh, it might take me a while, so a year or two. You know, I might get that because it, it needs to be repainted, the inside and outside. I did them all in the same time, so, you know. But anyways, there you go, guys. I hope you like it, um, yeah. It's cute. Let's see it with the light off. There you go. I wish I had more lights for it. Um, yeah, I really do. You can't really tell what it is, but yeah, if I had some more lights, maybe I could, um, you know, it would show up more. I do have some other lights that I could use. Maybe um, wrap around the bottom here, and maybe I'll do that later. The only problem is you got to find where where you're going to put the box, you know, and that's the problem. So, and this one was hidden. This was a good idea, um, you know, to hide the box on the back, and it looks really good. I think. Oops, sorry, guys. I'm trying to let you see it, and then it's my arm keeps going down. There we go. Okay. So anyways, that's it for now, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and um, yeah, make it your own. You know, these these things, I got it at Dollar Tree, the, the name, and um, there was $1.25. I've had it for a while, and I, I had it on the wall, and I was like, you know, it just looks so plain. <laughs> I had to do something to it. So anyways, that is what I got done, so... So anyways, there should be more videos coming up soon. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for more videos. Monkey says she's out for now, y'all. Have a great week. Bye.